crossing over, why so many young Australian men and women are now converting to Islam. There's a fear issue. Inside the family homes, where everything's changing. It's still our son. The decision. They were a bit concerned. The fallout. What their parents really think. A current affair tonight. But now to the growing numbers of young Australian men and women who are converting to Islam. They're giving up their Western lifestyle and choosing to follow the rules and traditions of the Muslim faith. Former Aussie surfer Mark Tocock is now Malik Islam. And he's not alone in changing his name and Western lifestyle. Sort of get caught up in going out to bars and clubs. Yeah, I do pray five times a day. You get up at four o'clock in the morning? 4.35. <laughs> Blue-eyed, fair-skinned Aussies. Oh, she has blonde hair. Yeah. Embracing a faith that some people associate with religious extremism. After 9-11, I actually went out and did some kind of nasty things to Muslim people when I seen them in the street. And their parents. When he said to you, I want to convert, what were your thoughts? Immediately? Mm. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, geez, what are we going to do? Rebecca grew up in an Anglican school, loved sport and a suntan. My parents never enforced religion upon us. I did feel that I did practice my religion. I used to turn up to church all by myself because um, I've always believed that I've had a relationship with God. And like many Aussie teenagers, she was also going out partying and drinking. I was what you would call like an easygoing, free-spirited type of girl. But she says she found herself getting depressed by the Australian way of life. So 10 years ago, converted to Islam with its strict rules on lifestyle. And then three years later, she started wearing the headscarf known as a hijab. When I was ready to wear the hijab, I made the decision on my own that I want to wear the hijab. But there's no enforcement upon me that I need to wear hijab. She gets looks from people, as do we as her parents, but you know, you're going to get that in any, any place. Rebecca grew up in a sporting family. Mum Marie is a World Masters Athletics Champion with more titles than the British Royal Family, while Father John is a World Champion at Javelin. This was her passion. Oh, really? Brought up on the beaches of Wollongong, south of Sydney, a very outdoorsy family. When she said she was going to convert, what were, what were your thoughts? Yeah, I was surprised. Um, she asked the question, did, what did I think about her changing and converting to Muslim? And I said, if that's your choice, you're our daughter, you'll always be our daughter, and we're proud of you, and if that's what you want to do, well then, we support you. And while there are very different physical and social changes to their daughter, they are enormously proud. Well, the drinking I don't miss. I still go out with my girlfriends, I still have coffee, I still uh, go to fundraisers, I enjoy myself. I actually am so happy with my lifestyle now that I don't really reminisce on the times before. Malik, do you miss the Western lifestyle, the uh, night clubbing, the drinking and so on? There is no benefit from drinking, there's no benefit from clubbing, there's no benefit from gambling. Um, if anything, you know, staying away from those kind of things, um, I, I believe, can fix a lot of the problems that society has. Blue-eyed Mark, now known as Malik, got interested in the religion because he liked the way his Lebanese mates at the beach talked about their faith. Live your life in a peaceful, calm, respectful way. It's about finding a nice way to live life. He's since met his wife, Asma, and together they run a successful small business. As long as he's happy, and he has been. His father, Brian, is a retired salesman, and mum, Chris, works at Woolies. And although they don't celebrate Christmas as a family anymore... We don't love him less. No, still, still our son. Yeah. He can never change that. But he has changed his name. You felt at the time he wanted to become part of that society, which he couldn't do with his, with his English name. Right? He would have always been an outsider. So it was a bit surprising uh, to them. Not all parents are as accepting. They were a bit concerned. Siobhan grew up in Sydney's eastern suburbs, went to a Catholic school and is the daughter of a plumber. Oh, a car. The bars and clubs are no more. I found um, 
liberation, um, sort of not oppression in covering up my body because I could then, um, you know, project the true person who I was, not what I looked like. So people could judge me on the content of my character, not on the exterior. For many Australians, if it wasn't for the hijab, we wouldn't really know their religion. But just like Christian nuns, those Muslims who are more deeply religious say this dress gives them a spiritual connection. It's teaching you to be more pure, um, to remember all the time that you are veiled. So check your manners, check the way you speak, make sure you're acting in a correct manner because a veiled woman, you know, shouldn't be misbehaving. <laughs> And so it was that he decided to break down some barriers and have National Hijab Day, letting non-Muslim women try one on. And I play sport with um, women that wear the hijab and I just want to just feel how they felt. What many Australians associate the religion with is this. A terrorist attack. London under attack. Kuda, the first blast was... If someone does something bad, it's not a reflection of their faith, it's a reflection of them as a person. It's not the majority that think like this, that act like this. Um, the rest of us are just trying to live our life in this great country, uh, enjoy it. Well, this 26-year-old man who is accused of having sex with a 12-year-old girl and then making her his wife has faced court here. In Islam, there's, there's also, it teaches us that we have to abide by the law in the land in which we live in. So this whole cock and bully about us Muslims bringing in Sharia law is complete baloney. Hello, how can I help with your account? Around the world, Islam is the fastest growing faith. 5,000 mainly white British people are converting each year. My friends, they've really been supportive. When they started wearing the headscarf, it was a shock. But they've got used to me wearing a scarf and it doesn't e they don't even see the scarf anymore. And like here, it's young people looking for a more modest way of life. Everybody's very loose, you know, you can go out and get drunk. I've never been like that. And this is why Islam was so appealing to me, was because it was a religion where it was quite conservative. Muslim population is rising from within Australia. Migration is not the major contributing factor. Islamic expert Dr Jan Ali from the University of Western Sydney says while the numbers here aren't anything like Britain, Aussies are converting for some simple reasons. Some sense of belonging, some sense of recognition, some sense of inspiration. As for Siobhan's parents, they now accept her new faith. Once I became Muslim, this gave me a guide to life. That very much helped me get on, on the right course for me and give up the bad habits and feel very content. In a country where you can choose whatever you want to wear, drink freely and eat whatever you want, these young Aussies choose to live this way and not because they married into it. Do you think that you might one day fully cover yourself? I don't know. Well, I can't say never, because one time in my life I would have said I've never become a Muslim and look what happened. <laughs>